friends, it's Gwen today. I'm gonna do a little bit of an unhaul. Rib sat round five was just announced on Miranda's channel and I needed to put my books that I have been hauling onto my bookshelf. And while I was there, I just went ahead and cleaned some more books off that I need to unhaul. I've also had a stack sitting back here that I've kind of had forever. And I just kind of want to go through them and show you and yeah, let's get into it. The first two books are actually ARCs, so I can't, you know, set, like take them to the book exchange where I normally give my books to. So I'm gonna see if anybody wants them or I might do a giveaway, I'm not really sure. But I actually won these in a giveaway myself on Instagram. Someone posted a contest and then it was like a stack of books and you got to choose. And I actually won, but I didn't win the book that I wanted. So that was weird. Anyway, I got sent two books, Hold Me Like a Breath by Tiffany Schmidt. It is an art copy, so again, I can't give it to the book exchange. And the other one that I want is Everything That Makes You. And if I should, just go ahead and give these books a shot since I have them, let me know. But I'm really not an ARC fan. I'm more of a finished copy fan. I have read a couple of ARCs. Um, I do prefer ARC copies in physical book form over ebook because to be honest, everybody needs to know I don't read ebooks. I don't have a Kindle, I only have my iPad, and I find it very clunky and I don't like it. And I have read books on ebooks, but it's when I don't have any physical books to read. And I have plenty of physical books to read right now, so yeah. Neo and Juliet, of course, by Shakespeare. Um, I love this cover, I think it's really beautiful, but you know what? I'm not gonna read it, so why keep it? The next one is Harriet Evans, The Love of Her Life. Another one that I have already read and I did not like is The Wicked Girls by Alex Marwood. That is Dandelion Summer by Lisa Wingate. So it's probably a good summer read, but I'm just not interested, sorry. It's by Jill Cargaman Car and it's Arm Candy. Just not interested, sorry. Another one is Beth Harbinson, Secrets of a Shoe Addict. Yeah, like I said, I have plenty of other books on my TBR shelf. I have about 60, I think, which I think is a manageable number, but I do still haul books that I'm sent for review, and I do pick up graphic novels and a few books here and there that I have been wanting, um, but I am trying to dwindle my TBR pile. So I'm making headway by getting rid of a lot of these books, but I have a whole stack of hardbacks here that I'm getting rid of. Let's see what I got. Um, the Bone, or Bone Key, a John Deal novel. Getting rid of this one. one is Kelly Armstrong's Waking the Witch, and it's part of the Other World series. I don't have any of the other books in the series, so I don't even know if this is the first, second, third. I have no idea, so. Mortar Instrument, City of Bones by Cassandra, by Cassandra Clare. I haven't even read this book, and I have no desire to read this book or any of the other ones. City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess. I heard they're really good, but I don't have any of the other books, and I just have tons of other series that I can be reading. If I really want to read it, I can go back out and repurchase it. I talked about this on one of the tags that I did recently, like how long has this book been sitting on my bookshelf? Um, but it's A Thousand Splendid Suns, the same novel as The Kite Runner. And yeah, I've had this since 2007, I believe it was. And that's just sitting around way too long for me. I've been carting this around from Florida to Maryland and from Maryland to Virginia. And it's just time to let it go. The next one, you're probably going to be shocked because I have also talked about this in a couple of my tag videos and haul videos and stuff like that, but I am getting rid of Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, and I did try to take off the signed print, um, art print, because I am keeping the print, but I'm probably just going to turn this over to that book exchange store, and I don't have books one or two, and if I want it, I just plan to buy the whole series. I'm having trouble finding book one. I can find book two in hardback, but book one I can only find in paperback. So if I'm going to get them, I'm probably going to end up getting them all in paperback. It sounded interesting at the time, but you know what? I'm just not going to read it. I have too many other books to read. The Kid Sapphire um, is the author of Push, so time to get rid of it. I love the cover. It's totally neon and graphic. I just love it. It has like the paint, you know, and it just looks very... 
I don't know, very street. I love it, but you know what? I'm just not going to read it. So when it was a brand new release, um, John Grisham's Sycamore Row, and I love John Grisham. I used to read him all the time. Yeah, this came out in 2013, so I got it Christmas of 2013, so yeah. I saw this at a thrift store. I picked it up for really cheap. I planned on reading it, but then my sorority sister was telling me, like, it was one of those, you know, the lingo, the language about it. See, I still have, let's see how much I paid for it, because I still have the receipt in here. Three dollars. Yeah, I paid three dollars for this book, and it was originally thirty-five. So I, and it's in really good condition, actually. Um, there's no major um, scuffs or anything. The corners are still rather good. It's got a little scuff right here and it's a little bent right here, but it's in really good condition. There's no dog-eared pages. I bet you the person that had it didn't even read it. The next one is Wintertown Story and Art by Stephen Edmund and I really love this cover. It's like little like hole punches are the snow and I wanted to read it in the winter. Um, it's kind of has comic-ish stuff in it. It has little illustrations in it. Um, here's one. But I'm just not interested, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. The next hardback is Amanda Quick's The Perfect Poison. Um, my sorority sister gave this to me for Christmas, and I haven't gotten to it yet. And I think it's just time to get rid of it, and it needs to stop taking up space on my bookshelf. I still got a stack to go. The next one is um, Scott... Turo identical. This is about someone that's running for like Congress or something like that and his identical brother, twin brother, just got released from jail. So there's kind of like a mix up there. Um, it sounds really interesting. It's one of those mystery type books and I really like those books but I just haven't gotten to it in such a long time and I just have too many other books to read. I'm also getting rid of The Lake of Dreams by Kim Edwards. Elizabeth Fama's Monstrous Beauty, which is about mermaids, and I've never read a mermaid book before, so I was really intrigued, but I decided not to read it. Another one is Wicked Sweet. Haven't read this one, not really interested anymore. I read this one, The Turning by Francine Prose, and it was pretty terrible. I have the Morganville Vampires Ghost Town, which it sounds like kind of creepy, or it could be, or a little bit of a thriller, but just not interested in it anymore. I also have Donna Andrews, The Real McCall, and this cover is ugh, and yeah, I'm just not interested. And the last book, I just finished last month. I picked it up because it was in a thrift store. It was really cheap. It was a John Newberry Medal winner, and it was a middle grade book, so I don't really plan on keeping it. But that book was The View from Saturday. So these are the books that I'm unhauling. It's actually quite a bit. You should see the precarious stack over here. But anyway, those are the books that I'm getting rid of for right now. My bookshelves actually have room on them, except for my red bookshelf. I need to get bigger bookshelves. But anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching this unhaul. Let me know if any of these books I should try to keep and read. But... I don't know. Some of them I've tried to get rid of like a couple times now and I was like, okay, if I don't read it in the next three months, I'm going to get rid of it. And I didn't read it in the next three months or the next three months or the next three months. So I'm finally getting rid of it for sure. But if you're really, really, really set on me reading one of these books, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. But that's it for today. I'll see you next time.